what is going on so with Russell in the back. What up, bro? Yo, what's up, bro? <laughs> we are in Da Nang, Vietnam. We are off to the to the center area. Where is it? Like the to the other side of the bridge. There's a dragon bridge here. There's a Vietnamese market. Uh, the drive people here they drive absolutely like check out some of this. <laughs> this is crazy. Like driving here is in. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Not one drop. Look, one. look. Ooh. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> This is crazy, man. <laughs> like here in Vietnam, it's like another level. Driving, there's no traffic lights anywhere. It's just you honk and then you go. There's people who just make U turns in the middle of the street. And it's it's another level here. Yeah, there's traffic lights back there, but they're not even working. Yeah, they're just flashing green for everyone. And I guess now we're going over like the Dragon Bridge, the other side, to check out the to explore a little bit of um, of here in Da Nang. Total mayhem, madness. <laughs> oh, my friend. Thank you, man. Oh, my goodness. And now here in the... Uh, out of the car. Not that it's any more safe. Making a U-turn. No rules. You know, one thing you guys need to realize that right now we're in Da Nang in the center. Uh, look how low the chairs are. Coming up, please. <laughs> no, thank you. It's crazy because every seat is so low. They're like kids seats. <laughs> I'm realizing you're in Asia. I'm realizing Asia wasn't really built for big people. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I'm hungry too. Hey. I know one question that people are probably asking me is like, Luke, how do the people look at you when I'm here? Uh, I think people are really confused. Everyone is just, and there's no shame. Like they literally will stare at you when you're, like I'm saying about the people just staring. I know, right? Yeah, we're like, this is just, Oh, everyone, yeah, everyone yeah. staring at us. Yeah, yeah, people who just stare right at us just... And you'll look back at them and normally people break eye contact. Here, no, no, no. But now we're going deeper into the heart of the center. We're trying to find basically just some, some quality, solid food to eat, really. Um, we're a little bit nervous trying some of the street food because uh, our guts aren't used to that kind of <laughs> Our uh, guts are not used to that kind of food, so it's, it's kind of a risk, especially if you're going for something that's a little bit, you've never tried that before. That's a nice way of saying we think it's gonna make us feel sick. Yeah, it's gonna, yeah. <laughs> but it probably it might not. Oh, this is the church. Yeah. Side note. Oh, wow. I'm actually switching to the mask right now. I hope you can hear me. But it's hard to sometimes find food when you're out, especially here because so much of the culture, so much of the culture is on street food. Uh, and it's it's not the same as Thailand, the food here. I, I, I find the, the quality of the Thai food, I loved it. We're here, we're struggling to find just a better quality place. So um, I guess the, the goal, the struggle continues as we try to find some kind of food that we can kind of recognize uh, to eat. Actually, we found a cafe. We found a cafe where uh, Russell knows some people here. What's going on, man? Hey, How you doing, man? bro? Good, thanks. Yeah, so no luck there. The problem is when I'm filming this, it has just been the, the Chinese New Year. And on the Chinese New Year, 
not only are the places closed the day before, but they're usually closed the entire week. And the places that are open, they have a, they have, they also, the ones that are open have a surcharge of about 15 or 20%, some of them 25% because it costs them more as well. Um, so I guess uh, the search continues for just a place with, because this is what we're dealing with a lot of times. You see stuff like this where it's like, it, uh, well, we just came we just came from thailand but we might have to try the <laughs> thai market the mango sticky rice i mean the search continues or are we just settling for it uh, uh, let's we'll just spin to what's next yeah <laughs> we'll spin to what's next thai market <laughs> Already come. And they greeted us in Thai coming in. It's about time you guys understand. So we're waiting for our food. We're just looking at the madness here. Like to be prepared for this. Just first of all, look at the power lines. Yes, those are power lines, not branches that have grown into each other. And just take a look while we're waiting for our food. Just check out. This is how we drive here. Good man? <laughs> green curry man. No, green curry. Got the Thai food. We're good. Ah, oh, okay. The food, thank you. Come on. What do you think the food about the food, man? Is it approved for you, man? Yeah, nah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Good, Thailand, he's like, he know everything. But yeah, the heart, the problem here, in Vietnam, at least for me, and I guess maybe Russell can agree, I can't speak for you, about Never finding food. Speak for me. Okay, I'll speak for him. The hard part is finding some, some, uh, facts. Solid food. Yeah, <laughs> so, like solid food. There's a lot of street food places, very different, but I mean, most of the places I'll show you guys crossing the street if we don't get hit, because they drive crazy. That's another problem, but we're not even gonna go there. It's these kind of places like this, where I can't even fit on these seats right here. <laughs> Like even if I wanted to, I couldn't fit there. So for me, the struggle has been, and for Russell as well, especially coming from Thailand where the food is amazing and easy to find and, and you know it's pretty good. You can get this very basic stuff, chicken, rice, rice, vegetable. Here has been a bit of a challenge almost for every single meal other than, and we've had to settle a lot for going to fruit places, the fruit lady every morning. But look how low these seats are. But you know I don't think to be fair to, to Vietnam's food. Yeah. A lot of people say the culture's the food culture is really good here. Yeah. Maybe because obviously being in Chiang Mai for so long, I know all the spots. Like. Yeah. Maybe not being here and knowing that we're missing out on a lot of this stuff. So yeah. Maybe someone watching this is like, "What are you talking about? You could have gone there." We just we haven't found anything online that tells you where to go. Yeah. We haven't seen it. We asked the locals. Yeah. Yeah. And then and like, to, to add to it, it's the new year, so everything's yeah. shut. Yeah. One, maybe like two out of every three places are closed, and everything that's open, as I said before, I think there's a surcharge of like what 20 percent, 18 percent. Yeah. 15, 20. Percent. Yeah. So maybe we just don't know where to find it. So if you know, maybe leave a comment. Um, but yeah, okay. that has been the that's been the struggle here so far, and that's just in Da Nang. We haven't been to other places yet, so. I guess it should have been. I, I guess I should have retitled this to the, the problem with the name, but that would be too. I mean, you still could, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I yeah, guess I could. Oh uh, yeah, that's 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 true. Come on, man. I guess one thing I can tell you: do not do this in Vietnam. Do not just walk out on these zebra stripes. Never, never, never do this in Vietnam. Walk out on these zebra stripes, thinking people are gonna stop. The horn does not mean get out the way or move or what are you doing, idiot? Really, the horn means they're not stopping. 
Do not do that in Vietnam. Do not walk out on those zebra stripes. Wait till the cars go and get off the road. And so I guess on this little adventure, um, while we're here by the river, you good, man? Been a tourist. <laughs> this guy. Oh man, you can't take him anywhere. <laughs> any? Are there any last things you want to say to people coming here trying to find food to the foodies? I'm fussy, man. But if they're open-minded, they're probably not going to have a problem. Um, Try doing my research. Watch Luke's vlog because we would have found something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. So actually, this is a couple days later. I know I'm putting this in here, but we were able to find a great food place here. Um, the name of it is Mud. M U D. It's by the the by the by the sign that says "Welcome to Da Nang, closer to the beach." This has been the best place. The people here are super nice. You guys can come here. Whoa. Like, can you show them your burger? <laughs> It's actually can you show a vegan. Mine? And this is uh how much was that actually? And now show him your burger again. <laughs> and now show him my face. Because it's not really I'm gonna give more value than that. Yeah. Uh there is um actually where we're staying, I don't know if you can tell people on the map or, yeah, or something yeah, yeah. near where there. There's like a community of Westerners there and there is a whole uh, bunch yeah. of food there. Yeah. We're on the city side, the other side of the river now. Yeah. So we know nothing but there is a market here. Yeah. Like and the the, the one that named that one lady we met who was very nice, they have the place is called uh Mud, yeah? Mud, Mud Cafe. Mud yeah. Bistro. Yeah, Mud Bistro and next to it is a place called Bread and Salt, which is a great cafe as well. And the third one was that M M U A Cafe is good yeah, as well. M U A Cafe. They had a lot of like um, they had American style breakfast, English style breakfast. Oh that one's Mia. Mia, yeah, Mia, Mia, M I A, yeah. So there are cool places over there. We just our first time here on this side by the crossing the dragon bridge over here. But uh, yeah, I guess on that note from here uh, in Da Nang, we are full. We did find a place, even though it wasn't a Vietnamese place, but we will work harder. I will work harder to try to find another one. Uh, and on that note from here in Da Nang, smile. everyone always remember to work hard, be brave. Don't forget to smile. <laughs> Ciao.